Welcome all in our online class arranged by St. Gregory's High School and College, Lakshmi Bajar, Dhaka. My this class is for the students of class 8 and subject is English class paper. Here I am Johnny Shaha, Senior Teacher, Department of English. Boys, hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty. Let's start today's lesson. Before going to today's lesson, I want to show you some pictures. And I think you will say the name of this picture along with me. Okay? So, let's start. This is the first one. So, can you say me what is this? This is Roshgolla. Okay? And what is the picture about? This is Golab Jamun. And this is Shandesh. Oh, they are so much delicious to eat. Okay? They are very much yummy. Now, what are they? They are pita. In rural Bengal, they are called Chitoy pita. There, these are Bhava pita. So, in winter, these pitas are too much attractive and tasty to eat. And I think every house in every house this kind of pita are arranged or bought to eat or enjoy what are these these are pickles different kinds of pickles here and this one panta ilish with different kinds of vorta so these kinds of foods are very much appealing to us and very much tasty to eat whenever we see this kind of food our mouth filled with water because they are so much yummy to taste so i think you have already guessed uh, which topic we are going to discuss today yes we are going to discuss unit one lesson five bangladeshi cuisine so to start before we start our lesson i want to share some vocabulary with you so let's start with some vocabulary from here you will copy in your cw okay you write this thing in your cw copy so the first one cuisine what does cuisine mean so a style or method of cooking cuisine in a style or method of cooking delicious means tasty delicious means tasty appetizing i think appetizing and delicious are similar word but here i am giving another meaning so that you can face different meaning okay that means tempting so when we use this word we use this word when our mouth filled with water by seeing any kind of food so at that time we use appetizing platter platter means dish so different platters means different dishes entire means whole or total entire means whole so write down this vocabulary in your cw copy now we'll move to our passage this was our passage starting with this para i will discuss with you all the passage thoroughly and i think you will follow me by this so bangladeshi cuisine is rich and varied with the use of many spices so why is Bangladeshi cuisine rich? So it is varied with the use of many spices. We have delicious and appetizing food, snacks and sweets. So there are three kinds of food here. Food, snacks and sweets. The three items. Boiled rice is our staple food. We say the rice is our staple food. Actually boiled rice is our staple food. It is served with a variety of vegetables curry lentil soups fish and meat so we can't eat the rice only so we need different kinds of curry vegetables or lentil soups to 
to eat rice. Fish is the main source of protein. In different kinds of book, we get this information. They give uh, so much that the major uh, percentage of our protein come from fishes. So fish is the main source of protein. Fishes are now cultivated in ponds. So at, at one time it was that uh, fishes were found in different kinds of river, lakes, but now fishes are cultivated in ponds. Also we have fresh water fishes in the lakes and rivers. Look very carefully, here they give the line. More than 40 types of fishes are common. If you go to Bajar, you will find uh, different kinds of fishes and uh, in these fishes, you will find 40 types of fishes are common. Some of them are carp, rui, katla, magur, in English they are called catfish, chingri, there are two kinds of chingri, prawn or shrimp. Shutki or dried fishes are popular. I think uh, the students who have already visited Chiragong or Cox's Bazaar, they are very much familiar with shutki. There are so much shutki and people come from Cox's Bazaar, they bought shutki. So shutki or dried fishes are popular. Hilsha is very popular among the people of Bangladesh. So Bangladeshi people are called in Bengali Bhate Mache Bangali. So it is came from Hilsha. So Hilsha is very popular among the people of Bangladesh. Panta Ilish is a traditional platter of Panta Bhat. So we see that platter means dish. So Panta Ilish is a traditional dish of Panta Bhat. It is steamed rice soaked in water and served with a fried Hilsha slice, often together with a dried fish, pickles, lentil soup, green chilies and onion. If you back to the, my picture, you will find I have shown a different kinds of thing which are served with Pantabhat. It is a popular dish on the Pohela Boishak. You will found at the time of Pohela Boishak when people go in Boishaki Mela, they enjoy this platter. I think they are too much costly. People of Bangladesh are very fond of sweets. So people of Bangladesh, they like sweets. Almost all Bangladeshi women prepare some traditional sweets. At your home, your mother or sister or in my home, every woman can prepare some traditional sweets. Pita are type of sweets made from rice flour, sugar, syrup, molasses and sometimes milk is a traditional loved by the entire population. That means people like that kind of uh, pitas, they are made from flour rice, syrup or different kinds of molasses. That means mosola. During winter, pita utshop means a pita festival is organized by different groups. So we find that uh, during Pita Utshop, now you will see uh, last Friday in Dhaka Varsity, they arranged a Pita Utshop. So during winter, Pita Utshop, meaning Pita Festival, is organized by different groups of people. Sweets are distributed among close relatives when there is good news like births, weddings, and promotions, etc. So we distribute different kinds of sweets at the time of any kind of happy news, okay? Sweets of Bangladesh are mostly milk based. So sweets of Bangladesh are mostly milk based. So sweets are made through milk. Common ones are Roshagolla, Shandesh, Roshamalai, Golab Jamun, Kalo Jamun and Chom Chom. There are hundreds of different varieties of sweet preparation. So in Bangladesh there are so many kinds of varieties of sweets. Sweets are therefore an important part of the day to day life of Bangladeshi people. So to the Bangladeshi people sweets are, are an important part. Okay. So these are our passage. If you watch carefully you will find after the passage there are five true-false in section C. 
true or false if false give the correct information or correct answer in right correct answer or correct information so pause the video and uh, i am giving you two minutes to write down the answer of this true false okay start now Boys, I will show you the answer. If you write down the answer of these five true false, check with me. If you are correct, then give right mark, and if you are wrong, give cross mark and write down the right answer, that the correct answer. So write everything in your CW copy. First one, our foods are rich because they have a lot of oil in them. Our foods are rich because they have a lot of in them. So what is the answer? It is false. So what will be the correct answer? Correct answer is our foods are rich because they are mixed with many spices. Our foods are rich because they are mixed with many spices. You may write down uh, as like the question because they have a lot of spices. Okay. In question number two. We get protein mostly from fish. We get protein mostly from fish. So I think it is true. It is true. Number three, on Pohela Boishak, the traditional food is steamed rice and fried hilsha. On Pohela Boishak, the traditional food is steamed rice and fried hilsha. Uh, I think if you follow the passage, you will find a word is missing in the sentence. In first glance, you may seem that it is true, but actually it is false. So what we missed in the sentence? The correct answer is, on Pohela Boishak, the traditional food is steamed rice soaked in water and fried hilsha. So in the question, soaked in water, this phrase was absent. Okay. Number four. Pita Utshop takes place almost all the year round in Bangladesh. In my passage, we have learned that we only face Pita Utshop at the time of winter. So, this answer is also false. What will be the correct answer? So, Pita Utshop takes place during winter in Bangladesh. Pita Utshop takes place during winter in Bangladesh. Number five. Sweets are not much appreciated by the people of Bangladesh. So it is very easy to understand that this answer is false. And what will be the correct answer? Sweets are very much appreciated by the people of Bangladesh. Sweets are very much appreciated by the people of Bangladesh. So boys, pause the video and write down all the answer in your CW copy. Okay. Now we will move to our section D. In section D, it is said that read the text in B again and answer the following questions. So there are four questions and I will show you the question along with the answer. So you will also write the answer of these questions in your CW copy. Okay? Now copy it. Number one, what has made Bangladeshi food so special what has made Bangladeshi food so special so I'm giving a sample answer answer Bangladeshi cuisine is very rich Bangladeshi cuisine is very rich many spices have made Bangladeshi food so special many spices have made Bangladeshi food so special so remember one thing you will write down the answer remembering the mark 2 you will not write the answer in one sentence. So as you are the students of the JSC candidate, for this reason, it will be better for you to write the answer in two, at least in two sentences. But remember one thing, the answer should be appropriate with the question, should match the question, okay? 
Now question number two. Where do we get the fishes from? Where do we get the fishes from? I have written fishes are got from watery places. Fishes are got from watery places. We get fishes from ponds, lakes and rivers. So here I also write down two sentences. Number three, apart from fish, what other foods do we eat with rice? So leaving fish, what are the foods what we eat with rice? Here is the answer. Apart from fish, we eat many foods with rice. They are vegetables, meat, lentil soup, green chilies, onion, etc. Okay? Now question number four. Why are sweets an important part of our life? Why are sweets an important part of our life? Here is the answer. Sweets are distributed when there is any good news like birth, weddings and promotions. You may write it according to your own way, the answer, but I am giving my sample answer. So, sweets are distributed when they, there is any good news like births, weddings and promotion. So, they are important part of our life. So, they are important part of our life. Now, you pause the video again and write the answer of all the questions in your CW copy. So, if I am if I am sure that uh, yeah, you are getting three items to write down in your CW copies. Number one, the vocabulary. Number two, the true false. And number three, the question answer. I am not giving any HW now, but uh, you should write all the things in your CW copy. So we will meet again and uh, thanks for being with me in this time and uh, keep yourself safe, stay at home, okay, bye.